Uh, I told you I'd give you a Jeff Burton update, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for you right now. <clears throat> God, I knew this was gonna be tough. We all miss Jeff. Jeff hasn't been on with us. Uh, he was the last time he was on the air with us was was last Friday, right? He was on. Uh, Br- uh, yeah, a week ago. A week ago, a week Friday. Ago Friday. Yeah. yeah. And um, he was with us for most of the show, I think, that day. Yeah, yeah. He was in and out. Mm-hmm. I know he had he had. Well, he was on the air with us. He texted me a couple times, like, "Hey, turn me down. I got to run to the bathroom, whatever." So he hasn't been in studio for over a month. Over a month now. And, uh, man, just the outpouring of people asking, hey, how's Jeff? How's Jeff? That's the number one question, without a doubt, that I know we all get. Wherever we go, emails, social media, no matter where it is, that's like the number one thing we get asked. And it's, uh, you know, the answer usually is, you know, Jeff's hanging in there. Mm -hmm. You know, Jeff's got his good days and his bad days. Well, he, he hasn't been doing great the past couple of days. He hasn't been doing great the past week. And uh, I was kind of waiting on, on word from, from his wife, Julie, as to what, what to say. When somebody asks how Jeff is feeling, what, you know, what he's saying. You know, again, hanging in there. Yeah, fighting, fighting every Trying day. Trying to fight. And, and please send prayers. And, and I, I'm, not a, I'm not a praying guy, but I've been praying for Jeff every day. And I've been hoping for a miracle. Yeah. And <clears throat> so I... I I don't think Jeff is coming back in anymore. And I'll read something that uh, that that Jeff's wife uh, wrote yesterday on Facebook. She's got a, a, a like a Facebook page that updates Jeff with or updates everybody with with how Jeff's doing. So here's what she wrote yesterday. Um, <clears throat> she wrote family and friends. As you know, Jeff was sent to the hospital via ambulance last Saturday. Uh, The team of doctors at MOBAP worked very hard to get him stabilized. It took a better part of the week, and uh, during that time, Jeff received two blood transfusions and a platelet transfusion, plus a bunch of other medications. Uh, As the week progressed, uh, Jeff did stabilize a little. Uh, However, his blood levels never got to where they needed to be. This is a direct result of of the cancer infecting his entire body, prostate, liver, and every bone Mm. in his body. And she writes, uh, as they tested his blood levels each day, and we would watch them go up on a, on a, like, go up a point one day and then drop two points the next, the doctors and his oncologist decided it was time to discuss an end-of-life plan. <sighs> because the cancer has spread to his entire body, he will not be stable enough to receive any additional treatments. And we're uh, we're literally out of options. <clears throat> Jeff came home on hospice on Friday, and we're currently doing all we can to keep him as comfortable as possible. This is not the news we were expecting. We are shocked, overwhelmed, scared, sad behind, sad beyond words, angry. The list of emotions goes on and changes hour by hour. Uh, we're doing everything we can to take care of Jeff as he goes through this next phase. And uh, we'll update you as we can. And uh, Julie Burton writes, thank you for all your love and support. You lifted us up throughout this journey, and we're forever grateful. So it's not the news that, that any of us wanted to hear. Yeah. And uh, we, we could still pray that Jeff is comfortable. Yep. And he's at home right now with his family and his two daughters and his wife. And uh, I told Julie yesterday that the amount of calls I, I, I get, you know, from, from friends that I know Jeff hasn't talked to in a while, people from, from his long, you know, radio career. I mean, everybody's asking about him. Everybody's praying for him. Everybody loves him. And, uh, you know, if his daughters are listening, Jeff is a beloved person. Without question. Yeah. Jeff is a very gracious person. Uh, Jeff has been a part of, uh, of, of people's lives daily for... Uh, he was on the first morning show on The Point. Yeah. 
Jeff's been in radio almost longer than I have been alive. Mm -hmm. Like, in some way, shape, or form, he has been doing this my entire life. Yeah. And being from the area, I mean, I grew up listening to Jeff on the air. I mean, I was in grade school yeah. listening to Jeff on the radio. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've known Jeff for almost 20 years now. Yeah. He's woven, woven himself into the fabric of mm -hmm. all of St. Louis's life. Yep. Yep. And I just want Jeff to be comfortable, and I want his daughters to know that, that your dad is a, is, a, is a beloved person. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, that's, that's the yeah. update. And then he will literally live forever mm -hmm. because of all that he's done. Yep. With his stories, with his jokes, with his life, like, yeah. literally live forever. So what does Jeff want us to do? Jeff want us, wants us to laugh, right? Of course. Of course, man. Jeff wants us to... Uh, Jeff was always, you know, all about having a good time. Yeah. Just, the, you know, when you, when, you, when you say your prayers, just, just pray for Jeff and... Yeah. Uh, yep. Pray for peace and yeah. and, pray and, for and comfort. pray for a miracle, man. I've, yeah. I've seen yeah. miracles. Yeah, because as long as there's I've breath in that body... There's a, even after there's breath in the body, there's still miracles. And, yeah, so we're, we're praying for miracles. Hold man. on to hope, man. And I mean, just, just think about this. And I, and I talked to, to one of Jeff's friends who talked to him, you know, or late last week, who said that, you know, Jeff is still making jokes at home. Jeff is still Jeff. I mean, he is and forever will be Jeff Burton. There is no denying that. There is none of that. And Jeff would want us to remember him for all of the times that he made you laugh, for all of the times where when you were driving to work and you didn't want to be there and you didn't want to be going, remember that time that Jeff made you laugh when you were pulling into the parking lot. Or remember the time where in the afternoon show when you were driving home and you had a terrible day at work and Jeff made you forget about it? That's what Jeff wants you to remember him. You know, he wants you to remember those times. And while you may be feeling sad right now, he wants you to use those times to smile. Well, I, it goes without saying, we're all thinking of the Burton family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. We love you guys. <sighs> Pray for a miracle. That's, that's where we're yeah. at. That's where we're at. That's but, what we can do. All right, let's uh, let's take a break. We'll come back.